The Federal Capital Territory Ministerial Task Force team on coronavirus disease has sealed Jabi Lake Mall for violating um, the lockdown orders. Um, this was revealed by the Special Assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on New Media, Bashar Ahmed, on Twitter. Yeah, so over the weekend there was a concert. The concert was pretty pricey for top mm -hmm. class people and the of idea course. was that they were supposed to be in their cars. It's supposed to be a drive-in or it was supposed to be a drive-in concert and um, Nara Mali was built to perform. But you know how Malians are or when they enter their Malian mode, yeah. once Social Uncle went on stage, <laughs> Social distancing flew out of the environment and mm. there was trouble, you know, mm. so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting that they took that much of a drastic, I guess a drastic measure to mm -hmm. it because I'm sure other um, retail stores that are in, they had nothing to do with this, but then everybody's bearing the consequences. It's very stupid to think that people will actually stay in their cars to have... Are you saying human beings are stupid? Because <laughs> you knew what you for were coming part, for, that it was a driving concert. Why yeah. you get out of your car? Why did you get out? So I, I don't think the blame now is going to be solely on the organizers or the event center. Um, unfortunately, there is no way to begin to punish <laughs> everyone, yeah. right? But mm. this is... Because according to what I read or also heard from people who were around the area, they said everything was actually going smooth. They were in the cars doing everything until Naramali came on stage and they lost their home training or they became mannerless, like they said. <laughs> so I, 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 I don't understand what is going to happen, but this is based on a, a, a mobile court ruling. I mean, yeah. it was pretty fast and it decided to lock up the place. But like you said, there are people who have businesses um, in Jabi Lake Mall yeah. and now they have to bear the consequences. And, of, and, and, and I saw people were saying two weeks, but uh, from the... Um, thread that he made, it looked like it's something that might be going on for longer because they're still saying that um, they are yet to decide when it's going to be lifted. It, yeah, I, yeah, I saw it indefinitely, it, yeah. but it doesn't make sense doing indefinitely because yes, they, they, they did something wrong, but what you have to do is to fumigate the area and mm. I don't think you need more than 14 days to do that. So. Well, isn't it because they've also, this is not the first time that... Is it um, not? No, I, I don't think this is the first time that they're breaking rules. Not that they're throwing a party, but... At Jabi Lake. Yes, it seems okay. like they... You know how they've given restrictions to timing and when you can trade? It seems that they go... The, they go longer. It, coffee for everyone is different from even um, trading coffee. And I think they've broken both. Mm -hmm. Like, they've broken... Obviously, that concert broke the 10, 4 a.m. to 10, 10, 10 p.m. Um, 4 p.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, curfew, but I think the the mall itself also breaks curfews that are restricted to trading hours. So I think trading hours, you have different days. I think it's mm. that I'm not sure. I'm not a trader, but there's tried, different. We tried to reach out options. to Charles Opaleke, the um, founder of one of the organiz um, organizing um, company. That's um, Play Network. Yeah. Um, but we are yet to get any response from him. I don't know if this is going to, or we generally don't know if this is going to affect them as a person, if they have fines to pay as yeah. the organizers, or is it just about the... Or is it law, also Naramali? You know? Because Naramali has been in this COVID-19 months before, <laughs> and I thought he was on a probation where he was supposed to be making music videos for... Well, according to their own side of the story, they followed all the necessary steps. I mean, social distancing. He wasn't banned from, not, from performing. I mean, mm. he did his online concert, yeah. and it was... Um, pretty okay. There wasn't any rule breaking and all that. So we'll just see how this goes and we'll still try to reach out to an authority from the presidential tax force or someone from the organizing committee to let us know how this is playing out and yeah. what exactly the rules going forward is going to be because there, there was supposed to be a, a relaxation on the event um, ban anyway, from last week yeah. anyway. So we'll see how that goes.